بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I want to say something slightly different than what you've already heard and I say this not deliberately but as a result of soul searching for the last 20 years I've been fundraising on television uh, using TV platforms for probably longest in this room um, I started in 1996 first ever TV um, fundraising on Bangla TV in a broom cupboard, I still remember, for Islamic relief. And we at that time raised £36,000 and the lights were more powerful than these. So 25 years on, or over 20 years on, I've come to a realisation that we are not doing our work as we should be doing them. You're all very busy raising money for crisis abroad, but you're forgetting your home called Britain. You're forgetting your home called Britain. Majority of you are sending money abroad for good causes, and I support it. But when you forget your home, you forget the major chunk of Islam. Prophet Muhammad sallam, if you look at his life, he was born in Mecca. He was known by local people in Mecca as a man of Mecca who cared for Meccans, who cared for the society, he was connected, and he was accepted as local. He spent every single penny and all moment of his time thinking about the well-being of his own local people. So if you're going to be raising money, I'm going to be asking you to change your focus from here on. A large chunk of your money should be spent in the UK in creating a society that is more balanced, fairer, and less queue in the food bank. Because Allah on the Day of Judgment will ask you, what did you do to your localities, not what you did to other countries? Prophet ﷺ became Al-Amin and Al-Sadiq, not because they just gave him a label. No, he became Al-Amin and Al-Sadiq because he worked with the community every day, day in and day out, looking after them and their welfare, looking after the poor and the needy orphans, looking after the destitute, looking after the widow, looking after those who are returned after wars, treating the injured. He was an active man known as Al-Amin and Al-Sadiq. If your money doesn't create Al-Amin and Al-Sadiq in our community, then your charity has failed. If all you have done is done operations abroad, built homes and tube worlds abroad, and you have not become an Amin and Al-Sadiq by spending the money that you've raised locally to become known as Al-Amin and Al-Sadiq, your charity has failed. The third thing our beloved Prophet Muhammad ﷺ did before he became a prophet was that he created an organization called Hilf al-Fudul, Alliance of Virtue. If your charity cannot bring together the good people of our country and create an alliance of virtue, your charity has failed. Take it from me, your charity has failed. Every day giving out handouts in a crisis country is fantastic, but that doesn't solve the problem. And you cannot solve the problem. If there has been a million people in a disaster, your charity can reach probably 100,000 maximum. While your own home, your own country, your own children are leaving Islam faster than they have ever come to it. So if you as charity, international charities, do not spend money here and creating an alliance of virtue, Hilf al-Fudul in the UK, your charity has failed. Number four, Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was not only tunnel visioned, he wasn't only interested in Hilf al-Fudul and forgetting about it, no. He was thinking about the well-being of the entire humanity. He meditated he, at the depth of Hira. He thought day in and day out, how can I solve the problem of humanity? And Allah revealed the verses, Iqra, read in the name of your Lord who created you. Bismi rabbik alladhi khalaq. Prophet ﷺ himself was not a man who could read or write. And yet he came to the community and said to people, read. That's what Allah is telling you and I to do. It's called self-deprecation, brothers and sisters. Because he was not making it up, he was receiving wahi. He was being a postman delivering the message of Allah. If your charity isn't delivering the message of Allah in this country, then you have failed. Did you know a newspaper recently wrote, in the national newspaper it wrote, what Muslim communities do in the month of Ramadan, raising 120 million pounds to safeguard, to reach out to the millions of people across the globe. If they spent a small amount of that money in Britain, they would be the most favorite of communities here in this country. Small amount. 
120 million abroad, how many millions in the UK? And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the final message from me for your charity work. Your charity is all about compassion. It's all about kindness. Kindness begins at home. Compassion is at home. So I'll urge you as charities, refocus, rethink, and those of you who are already spending in this country, may Allah bless you and give you more. For those of you who are spending abroad, may Allah bless you too, but please divert a chunk of your money in this country because our children, our institutions, and our future is dependent on how strongly we build our roots and our strength of foundation in this country. You can build mosques if you like, but mosques will not be enough. You need people. Do you spend money in people? I'll urge, I'll urge all the charities, the major charities, the 13, 14 that we know, the smaller charities that are growing, you should spend more than 25% of your annual income in developing and training young people who can remain Muslim, and remaining 25% should be spent on spreading the message of Allah to the people of this country, and the remaining 50% you can spend on all the other causes. I'm just giving you my own ideas. Five key principles that I've highlighted from the life of the Prophet of Allah He was local. He was Alameen and As-Sadiq, trustworthy. He was a man who created Hilf al-Fudul, a land of virtue. He brought to the people the message of Allah and he changed the world. And he demonstrated compassion in every day, every time he did something. May Allah bless us all. May Allah make charity more real. But may Allah make charity at home more real for all of us. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.